What's up all you crazy mugs? I wanted to show you guys my face really quick so you know it's real. We're here right now to finally show you guys how to install the Dolphin emulator on your PC so you can start playing the Wii games and the GameCube games that you wanna play on your computer. Such as Rhythm Heaven Fever. I know, I know, you all wanna play that. So that's why I'm gonna show you. I'm sorry for the huge delay. I've got a lot of stuff going on. We're working on packing up and moving to a new place. It's just been bonkers. So. I'm not gonna delay any longer. Let's actually get into it, and I'm gonna show you guys what you need to do to get Dolphin installed. First and foremost, if you already have Dolphin installed and you wanna save your files and don't lose your save states and whatnot, you're gonna wanna open up your start menu, percent app data, percent, hit enter. You should be in roaming, and then you should see the Dolphin emulator folder right here. You want to go to your state saves folder. I don't want to lose my saves from Rhythm Heaven by showing you guys this. So I'm going to actually copy this whole folder and I'm just going to paste that right in here so I have that for later so I can re-paste it in here, okay? So Dolphin is an executable. So with what that means is that you don't actually install Dolphin on your PC, you put it somewhere. So I have Dolphin right here, okay? I'm going to, I'm just going to, I'm gonna do the dang thing. I'm gonna do the dang thing and I'm gonna delete Dolphin. It's gone, okay? Now we're starting from scratch. Let's bring up our browser. You're gonna wanna go to dolphin-emu.org. This is the website. Boom, right here. It's right in front of our faces. You don't gotta go searching around on the website for anything like that. Download Dolphin 5.0, right? Bam. X the ad, don't get baited by the ads, you guys. The latest version is two months and one week old. Download it for X64 or if you're on Mac OS or on Android, you can download it wherever. Easy peasy, lemon squeeze. Downloads, bada bing, bada boom. Extract all. If you're on Windows 11 or Windows 10, I believe can do the same thing. Right click, extract all. If you have something like 7-Zip, I normally use 7-Zip. Now, you wanna put this somewhere you're gonna remember it, you guys. And that's why, again, I had a Dolphin folder that I made on my C drive. Wherever you're gonna keep your games and stuff, you'll just wanna put it in there, okay? Um, what I normally do, so since I normally made a Dolphin folder, I would take all this stuff and just put it right in the, op oh, that's not what you wanna do, Control Z, Put it right in the dolphin folder that I made. I made a mistake. Let's try this again. Boom, cut it right inside of the dolphin folder and then you can delete that stuff. And now you have dolphin. Again, I put it right in my C drive in a folder that I made called games ROMs. Dolphin, this is it. Now, again, it's an executable. You don't have to install it on your PC. You double click dolphin.exe and bada bing, bada boom, you're gonna get this. Now it looks very plain Jane, it is. I just go to open and then again, you wanna navigate. So I would start at my C drive, go to games, ROMs, dolphin games, rhythm, heaven, fever. I have English, Japanese, Korean, and um, um, oh my gosh. <laughs> The Australian version, uh, the UK version. Uh, it's called Rhythm Heaven Paradise, I believe. Uh, and then that's that. But before you launch the game, and I will show you guys, uh, due to the legality of emulation, emulating is legal. Uh, the acquisition of ROMs is is a is a touchy situation. Reach out to me in Discord. I'm gonna put my Discord link in the in the description of this video. I want you guys to join my Discord and then you can reach out to me or we'll have a channel where I can direct you guys on how to acquire Rhythm Heaven specifically, okay? Uh, with Because I don't want to put that on YouTube. I don't want Nintendo coming and just booting my cheeks into outer space, okay? But I'm going to show you guys how to get your controller set up too. So when you have a controller hooked up via, you know, wireless connection or Bluetooth or USB, however you play games on your PC, you would just go to controllers. And then for me, I emulate the Wii's Bluetooth adapter, okay? Wii Remote 1, emulated Wii Remote. That's what I choose. Not a real one, unless you have a real Wii Remote and you wanna use it. But I do emulated re Wii Remote. Now you hit configure, right? Now I use an 8-bit Doe Ultimate Bluetooth controller. It says disconnected. Once you connect your controller, it should be in here and it should show in parentheses. Mine is the Ultimate Wireless Controller. So I hit this. And then what you wanna do is you wanna actually map the buttons by clicking the button 
and then hitting the button on the controller that you want it to be. That's why my A and B are back and forth, by the way, or, or swapped around, because I like my A like an Xbox controller, not like a Nintendo controller, and the Nintendo controllers have the A and B swapped and the X and Y swapped. Anyway, you map up everything, you get all this stuff set up. You wanna make sure, I don't know why it does this, but you wanna make sure you set your battery percent to 100% manually, because if you set it, you set it to 1% or 0% or whatever, low, the game is gonna tell you your battery is low, but when obviously it's it's not. Um, you don't wanna mess with any of the Motion Plus stuff unless, unless you, dive a little bit deeper into that stuff, which I don't. With Rhythm Heaven Fever, it's very straightforward. The buttons are A and B. Start and select to go to your menus and whatnot. And then once you get all this set up, you want to, what I did is I named them because I have all these USB controllers. So I named it 8-Bit Doe and then you hit save. And now when you reconnect your controller and launch it, I just go in here, I get, click the drop down, and then I go to the profile 8-Bit Doe and then I hit load. And then your, your controller profile is there and ready to go. When you've done all of that, you can go in here and do your graphics if you're having some issues. Uh, out of the gate, I didn't have any problems with latency or anything like that. Uh, if anybody has any issues, you can let me know and maybe I can try to help you figure it out. But out of the gate, Dolphin works so incredibly well. So after all that's said and done and you have your ROM, boom, open, double click, I use Alt Enter to go full screen. Yep, Alt and Enter, just like that. Um, and then we're off to the races, baby. We're off to the races. It's literally that easy. And then when you're done, you hit Escape. Do you wanna stop current emulation? Boom. And then once you launch it up again, there you go. That's literally it. I hope this was helpful. And again, I'm going to leave a link in the description below to my Discord. Join the Discord. We'll make a, um, a channel in the Discord that everybody can kind of get involved with so I can show you guys how to acquire Rhythm Heaven Fever specifically. Because again, it's a sticky situation. We don't want to get in trouble with anybody. Um, I do not endorse uh, acquiring ROMs that you have not previously owned. I have owned so many games in my life that I cannot account for anymore. But yeah, that's it, you guys. That's it. It's very, very simple. It is so much easier than people think. Emulation in 2023 is a piece of cake. So if you guys like the video, make sure you guys thumbs up, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. If you guys need some help, again, reach out to me in Discord or in the comments in this YouTube video. You can do whatever you want and I'll try my best to help you guys out. Thank you guys so much for requesting this and helping us get to 2,000 subscribers on YouTube. If you guys want to see some other stuff, maybe suggest some other things too, and I'll see if I can figure it out, all right? I'll see you guys next time, or I'll see you guys live. All right, I love y'all.